Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my mythic tutorials. Today we're going to be covering the projectile mechanic. This tutorial might be broken up into two parts because this is a pretty complicated, or at least it's lengthy and it's very demanding. So um, I'm going to try and break it up into two parts just to kind of keep it convenient and easy for everybody. The reason I say this mechanic is complicated is because it's typically done in four parts. And well, yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the big part of it is the fact that it's done in four parts. So, if we can, let's go ahead and just get started. I'm gonna do a lot of these from scratch so that way I can kind of explain to you guys what's gonna happen, you know, with what part of the mechanic. So, here we go. First, you're gonna have your mob file. Per typical, you will see this in every single one that I use. And then, skill S equals shooty boy. That's why I decided to call my skill that shoots the projectile. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Here it is. Shooty boy. Conditions, cooldown, whatever you want those to be, of course. Skills, here it is. Projectile, which is your main skill. And it's going to have four or three main parts that follow. On tick, on hit, and on end. The tick is going to be what happens during the projectile's flight time. The hit is going to be what happens if or when it hits uh, whatever target it is aiming for. End is what's going to happen when the projectile itself disappears. The last two couple little things here that I find of, you know, pure importance are the interval, which is the amount of times it updates, or the amount of basically the interval in which it updates. It's hard to explain it without using the actual word for it itself that it's, um, you know, abbreviated for, but that's what it is. So this is going to go off every 1 20th of a second. You'll see why that's important when we start testing. Next is your projectile's velocity. This kind of speaks for itself. This is how fast your projectile is going to fly. Now I generally like keeping it at 8 because I find that that's a pretty good number the lower you set it, the slower it's going to go. The higher you set it, the faster it's going to go. Of course, this makes a pretty big difference based on how far you want it to be shot, as well as if you set it too high, there's actually a chance that it'll go right through the thing it's aiming for and it'll miss entirely. And we don't want that because that just kind of, well, if it was in line and it didn't hit, well then what's the point of it? So we're gonna go ahead and keep it at eight. Now one last thing I forgot to add here and I realize now, there's a variable called max radius, which is going to be MR. This is very important just in case um, your projectile has some sort of specific end to it, or maybe it has a ton of particles in the tick thing. This means it'll only go so many blocks out before disappearing, if it doesn't hit anything. So we're going to go ahead and just set this to 20. Here we have our tick. This is, as I mentioned before, what happens while the projectile is in flight. A lot of players use this for animation or aesthetic, which is essentially what it is overall. There's not really a whole lot you can do with it aside from that, but you can make some pretty cool things. So we're going to go ahead and throw in a couple effects here. Okay, so what I did here is I added a couple of effect lines. This is going to make a fireball sort of looking uh, sort of particle trail whenever the projectile is going. Do note that I highly recommend sticking to one just in case because this can cause it to be pretty, um, well, needless to say, it can cause a lot of lag or it can drop your FPS significantly if you have too many particles. That's also why I turned the amount down to 20 but you can do it however you see fit. This is just my own little fireball thing, just for the sake of this tutorial. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this outer one up to 30, just so that it makes a little bit more sense. Now here we have the hit command, or sorry, mechanic. This is what's going to happen to whoever this, tr um, this projectile hits here. So say we wanted to hurt a player. We're gonna go ahead and do damage amount equals We'll go ahead and do we'll go ahead and do five, just so that way it's pretty obvious. You don't have to add any targeter here because it'll automatically hit whoever this is going for, or it'll apply this effect. Do know that you can make 
you can add any mechanic here. You can add maybe explosion. You can add a potion mechanic if you wanted to. You could add stuff such as velocity. It doesn't matter what you add. Just know that this will only ever go off if it hits a player or target. We're going to go ahead and leave it at damage equals 5. Last is the end skill for the projectile. This is just like shooty boy tick here, or projectile tick. This is basically just another little animation thing showing, well, you know, that the projectile ended. So what we're going to do... What I would like to do is add, maybe, um, we're gonna add another effect here. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, whenever you do particle effects like this for the tick of the projectile, you're going to want to add at origin, or just nothing at all. If, say, you were to have at self here, this would cause the mob itself to give off the particles, and you would not see the projectile. It kind of well, you don't want that to happen because you want to be able to see where the projectile is firing as well as if you want your mob to give off some sort of particles, there are other better mechanics or effects that you can do for that. So this is what we have and this is what's going to happen when the projectile ends, regardless of whether or not it actually hits me. Now if you don't want this end effect here, on end is entirely optional. Realistically, any of these are entirely optional, but it's best to have them all anyway if you want to give the most stunning visual effect. Let's go ahead and reload and see what this looks like. Now we wait. And there it is. So that didn't look much like the fireball that I saw in my head, but you could kind of see there. Oops, I'm in god mode. There we go. See, it hit me, it exploded, and I took damage. Let's go ahead and see that again. And boom. Let's go ahead and put me back in god mode here. That's essentially the gist of the projectile skill. There's so much more that you can do with it. I will be making a part two of things you can do with it since this is basically the essentials. And I will show you guys more clever little tricks that you can do with the projectile skill. So that's all that I have for you guys today. If this video inspired you, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any sort of questions, feel free to ask me on Discord or leave a comment down in the comment section down below. I will have my link in the description for my Discord, as well as a few others that may be of interest to you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, be on the lookout for part two, as it will be coming shortly, because this was a fairly easy and actually much faster tutorial than I anticipated it being, because it was, well, it's a pretty straightforward mechanic. There's just a lot of stuff that can go into it, is all. But thank you guys so much for watching. Your, your creations are going to go far, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get there together.